From One of One Production Studios, broadcasting from NYC, you are listening to Unexpected Success with your host, Joy. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Unexpected Success with me, your host, Joy. And today we're going to have so much fun. <laughs> In the studio today, we have Ahuva Levy, a co-founder of Shy. Hey, hey. <laughs> co-founder of Shop Drop app, um, which is the ultimate app for the chic woman on the go, which I'd like to think that I was once or yeah. am or whatever I am. Um, but basically what Shop Drop does, it's, it's, it helps passionate shoppers in New York City stay in the loop on the latest uh, sample sales. I mean, how cool is that? Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like, Lots of excitement. I mean, it's like, is there anything sexier than getting um, like designer like items for like half off? No, and it's even better when you walk in the store and it's actually like a current real sample, and someone else pays full price for it. And oh you're wait, like, you have, they have current. Sometimes there's current. Yeah. Oh my god. Because they just have overstock or like the real sample. Now are they samples like size zero or they're they s- they're usually four to six. Oh my god! Usually, but like every brand is yeah, different. Every, 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 okay, so I, before we just yeah. hop all the way in, hi, Ahuva. Hi. <laughs> um, so I'm so happy to have you. Uh, I guess you wanted to just give us a quick, like, I don't know, synopsis on the brand and how you guys came up with it. Sure. So um, SD actually um, met Corey and revamped the app to be a sample sale app. Okay, so SD Goldschmidt. Yes. Uh, she is, was another, in, is the other co-founder. Yes. Right. She was in NYU. Okay. And she got the backing of their entrepreneurial office and was able to launch with uh, this app. And it's really exciting. It's, it's really fun. It's such a good... And the, so the IG handle is Shop Drop App. App. Mm-hmm. Um, on IG, everyone down, everyone like go and follow it right now. <laughs> Download the app because, because yesterday, so yesterday, Ahuva went to the Hermes sample sale, oh, and you that. have to give us the lowdown. That on the, was uh, and by the way, so it's it, today is actually October fourth, right? Yeah, and it the sample sale is going on until October fifth. Now it's super exclusive, but Ahuva was there, and we need the lowdown. So this is like those one of a kind stories okay, <laughs> where <yeah>. like <laughs> you just you think that you think you've seen it all until you've gone there. <laughs> I can't. I mean, to be a fly on a wall. So what? Yeah. What was it? So like? So I woke up at like five. OK, first you have to get the invitation. It's right. Each boutique Hermes itself does their wide sample sale in Chicago. They used to do it in New York and now they've moved out of New York. They moved to Chicago. And now some boutiques that are privately owned will once in a while, usually once a year, sometimes once every other year, um, host a sample. It's not called a sample sale. It's just called their Hermes private sale. And uh, everything is 50% off. And the way you get an invite. Five zero. Yeah. That's crazy. The way you get an invite is by basically having a contact in that store, getting on that mailing list somehow. So oh once calling you're Calling all connects. <laughs> calling all connects. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny the way they made it so exclusive, but it's not even that. You, I woke up at like 5 a.m. and I'm like, ha, I got this. Yeah, yeah you, you're like, I'm, I'm so far ahead. It opened at 10, and I was like, I, and you got up at 5 a.m. Yeah, and it's like five. Oh, I love away the dedication, me. the passion behind fine, it's getting Hermes. good fine. It I is. love that. There's a certain like adrenaline that you get. You're like, I'm gonna get this. I don't. <laughs> You know, when I was younger, like probably around your age, I used to have that same, like that same passion. And I would have like literally a $75 budget. (laughs) But, you know. But you find and sift like what ends up being the worth of things. So, right. So I get there and I'm standing online and it's like still dark outside. I'm like, woohoo. Then the security guy comes up to me. He's like, do you need a ticket? I'm like, a ticket for what? He's like, for the sale. I'm like, oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, oh, so and then he gave me the invitations like, on a ticket. No, because you, after the invitation comes the ticket. So then you go. <laughs> you get the invitation to go wait online is your invitation. Basically. Was there a line at 5 a.m.? So I'm like, oh, yay. Like there was no line. So oh, like, wow. Oh, yay. So I write my name on the list. And he's like, gives me, gives me ticket number 89. I'm like, I'm number 89. He's like, yeah, people were lining up from like midnight. What? I'm like, but the sale starts at 10 a.m. <laughs> 
so that's crazy fine he's like you can go home and come back at like 9 30 like basically tickets are being given out and like it doesn't matter who you are or how early you want to wait in line we're going in order of the tickets which is okay logistically that's better than yeah. what i've but seen they don't advertise that they're giving out the tickets like by 10 a.m. the next day, so they were it, giving out Thursday's tickets already. Oh, my God. Because they were just done with like 200 tickets of that day. And it ha- and so is the is it a big room? No, it's not. <laughs> it's no, not. So they have to limit how many people? Yeah, they limited oh, 40 people. Is- so this is the story. So you get there. <laughs> you finally get there at like 930 to start waiting online. And you see like, I don't want to say other people's names and give their fines but like no nice let's talk about status. let's talk about the people that we, these people who don't need to be at the, the sample sale, sale right <laughs> let's just start there bloggers like like the people who like probably get gifted or met so like every single like ig influencer that we scroll and we see on our feed not every single but there's there was a, a good amount a good amount of good ones out there right and right they're sitting there online and i'm like why are you here like right. I'm a small town girl. Right, right, right. right. Like, what are you doing <laughs> on the sale so, line? Right. <laughs> and they're sitting there and sweating it out from 9.30 and like actually waiting. So then I'm online and I'm number 89. Woohoo. Right. Anyways, I made friends with the people around me and they were really sweet. And we're waiting. And then at 10, like 15, they started opening the doors and they're like, we're letting in 40 people. But there's no time limit to shop. And they're only letting in 40 people in the store, meaning you got to get out for someone else to get in. Right. So at like 12.15, I got in. 12.15 from 9.30? Yeah. And not even that. Oh, my that. God. And you got um, up at 5 a.m.? Oh, the this patience. This is the best part. Oh, God. People offered to buy my ticket because they were number like 100 something. And they don't re- they didn't restock. At least they might have been. Wait, what did they offer? Room. So I think I the highest stories. offer was. Fifteen hundred <laughs> US dollars. dollars. US dollars. And I was so stupid. You were you didn't do it? Let me tell you. So first of all, the I first think I person taken it. I'll tell you what the temptation where the temptation was. Someone offered that to me on Instagram and I was like, You're not gonna come here. Like right. by the time you get here You're gonna then, miss it. Yeah. Right. And then I wasn't sure since my name was signed next to my number, I wasn't sure if I could give my ticket uh, anyway. Right. And then I found out that I could. Someone else walks up to me like at like let's say eleven forty, and she's like, "I'll give you seven hundred fifty dollars cash right now for your ticket," and I was like, st- "I'm the biggest idiot! Like I should have done but it." But you didn't know it was inside. But it's I was like, like not it's like, even that. I'm like, I must have a valuable ticket. Like no, eighty nine. Especially if they had if if you had to wait three hours. Yeah. That's crazy. Me. Not even that. There's still like every number before 89, but someone just turned to me and like was like, I'll pay you 750 for your ticket. And in my head, like, what was I buying already? Like for 750, I'll go buy a full price knickknack instead right. of 50% off. So and wait what on was line. inside? So what, when we when you so get inside, like when what? you get inside, there was tons of bangles. Okay. Tons of knickknacks, tons of shoes, scarves, no scarves. But in the past, they have had scarves. Yeah. Um, there no was, bags. Nope. But Rumor has in the past. I mean, they had like makeup bags. They didn't have like okay. a Kelly or a Birkin or right, a Natalie right, right. or anything like that. Belts. I did not see, but like I'm number eighty nine. So right, like, you don't, I don't know what really you missed. Know what I missed. Right, you don't know what you missed. Which was so frustrating. Like I live right there. I should have gone at midnight. I just didn't know. No, I mean, but who would think that for a ten a.m. sale that you'd have to go? So at So there's a restaurant right there, like you know Toku. It's right know, there. Toku, no. And people were apparently there, and then they saw the guy setting up. So this is her Hermes Madison. Oh uh, no, Hermes Americana. Oh, this was in Long Island. Oh, I didn't know it was in Long Island. Yeah. I'm like, like, like it matters. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it seem as if like, oh, that made a difference. I'm sorry. Just, <laughs> just mentally, I'm like, oh, I'm picturing Madison Avenue. Right, but no, you're no, in Long Americana, Island. Yeah. This is in Long Island and the line is crazy like this? No, no. It was like diseased. Like there was a special thing. I don't know what it was. I don't know how people have patience. Like if I would have been past number 100, I would have just been like, I don't know, gone home. Because God knows how long you're going to be there for. It's not like they're letting so in 20 at a time. Passive. They're letting in one per every person that leaves. That's insanity. And then once you get inside, first of all, you have those annoying group of people who are constantly trying to like cut you, schmooze up the of course, person, of course. like right, get right, in right. and you're like, you're like, beat it. Earn your stripes. Yeah. <laughs> like, who are you? Back of the line. 
And then um, they start, like, bombing, and, like, everyone beside, decides they're, like, chirping up a storm, and you're like, we're not friends. <laughs> right, right. Like, I'm not your friend, no. and I'm cool on you, and beat it. Sorry. So. <laughs> <laughs> no shade, though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, okay, so before, I, I know we, I know we, I, we had, like, I had to hear about the right. Hermes sale. Oh, so like, we, when you get in, though, right. you need to wait online for someone to help you to unlock the drawers to give you the bangles that you want. And then you have to wait on an even crazier line to pay. And then when you pay, they were checking that you were on the email list, the email that your name so on the email e- list matched wow. your ID that you paid with. I feel like the lady it's must intense. have given up on that after like number 100. I mean, you can't. I mean, it's you too just much. Like, you'd just be like, all right. You're so here. you got a bangle. Yes. And it's super cute. Got a bangle. And it matches your other bangle. Yes, it matches. The it's so good. Bangle, so they balance out. Right. And did you get SC anything? <laughs> no, they didn't have the one she wanted. Oh, had I'm I been sorry, number one? I know. <laughs> <laughs> next time, next time, next I, time. I don't know if I would do that again. No? That was like, it sounds all pretty, but it was like yeah. intense. You just walk out with this like migraine. You're like, I don't know if I can go get water because I don't know if they're going to let in 50 people right. or one. So, but I guess all sample sales are not created equal, right? No, so, no, um, no, I guess, no, no. Um, so you do New York and you do the outer boroughs. So, or, yeah. And Long yes, Island. Yes, yes. And New York. Like, not only okay. New York City, but in right. New York, if there's something in Jersey. Okay. But usually so most did, of them are based out of so New York City. So where are you City. from? Tell us about you. I I am originally from Queens, and then I moved to hey. Long Island. You're from Queens? I'm from Queens. No way. Yay. <laughs> where, where are you from? Kew Gardens. Oh, cool. I, I went to school in Flushing, but I grew up in Far Rockaway. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fun. Yeah, Queens girl. Hey. Yay. Yeah. And now you're by the beach. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, my parents still live in Rockaway, and I live in New Jersey. Oh. Yeah. Don't. I, yeah. Go, Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, whatever. Let's keep going. You're like, I'm so gonna I, yeah. back to those. So wait, do you have any siblings? And yes, I'm okay. the oldest. I'm You're one of oldest. five. One of five. One brother. Okay. Is You're he like, the youngest? Uh, no, he's the second youngest. He's the second youngest. Okay. My family's like spread out age wise. Like my youngest sibling's still in elementary school. That's fascinating. It is. It's awesome. And your Amazing. parents are your parents are still together. Yes. Okay. Yes. And do they still live in? They live in Queens. They live in yes. Long Island. Oh, they that's, so they're still there. Yeah. And then you moved out to the island. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what's your life like? How did you grow up? Really simple. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up really simple. And did you know what you wanted to do when you got older? No. 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 But then this kind of worked out because SD knew my aunt Michal from Stern. I think. Okay. They met. And she's like, I'm starting this sample sale app. And my aunt is like, oh, I know someone who's like always going to these sample sales. Maybe she can help you. And then I would send wow. SD the invites that weren't on the app yet. And like. So you guys just so connected forth. and just started working together. Yeah, and you we guys just, got we complimented on. each other just what each so other well. were lacking. So what did what did you make up? Like, how did you guys compliment each other? Like, what do you do versus so what So let's SD say does? I knew I was like on the list for longer or basically the entire concept of the app is that it compiles all the sample sales lists going out there and just puts it in one place. So you could look at your week in review as opposed to, I don't want to say like, let's say storefront A is doing this sale, storefront B is doing this sale and you don't, they both have different lists. So like right. you don't know what's going on in your week. You just know what's going on there. Right. Whereas this is like your week in review. This is super comprehensive. So yeah. I was saying that this reminds me so much of Racked NYC once upon a time that I they kind of <laughs> cornered the market on sample sales. Like if you felt like, and you know when sample sales are more like busy season for sample sales. Right. It's like, you know, we know exactly November, when November, December, like right. May, June, yeah. And I would go on to Rack and figure out which sample sales I wanted to hit up. But you guys have killed this. Thank well, you. Racked got acquired, right? Yeah, they, Racked no got longer. acquired. So. Right, but you guys have totally just like zoop, swooped right in, in, right? And I even told Esty that Madison, um, what's her name? Miss Hatton. Yeah. Was like left when SD started. And I was like, hey, it's like genius. you're filling in the perfect shoes. And you guys keep it super up to date. So how often do you guys update the sales? Oh, every few hours. I mean, come on. Are you guys listening? I mean, any of the, anybody who's listening who's a passionate shopper, like you have to like. <laughs> we we like, update every few hours and we yeah. try and collaborate with brands, get VIP, get ac- additional percentage off. Some brands are like willing to do that. Yeah. And, so, I, and yeah. I saw a quote that SDU, she's like, you can get Prada for the discount price at Zara, <laughs> like, which I love. I love the whole concept of that. Why pay Tiffany's when you can pay Target? Right. Exactly. That? No. So. All right. So what's the I guess what's your end game in terms of like. I guess, what do you envision for Shop Drop? 
Well, right now we're actually starting to move into hosting sample sales as well because brands oh. have just been reaching out and they're like, listen, you know the rules of your tr- of the trade. You know what sells. You know what's good. You know how to get this going. You have the user acquisition. You have the interactive Instagram users who are like, actually there and actually talking to you and actually answering like i'm answering instagram minutely like there's one of us answering someone like as soon as possible i guess that you know do you guys have like a um strategy in terms of monetization so like you know we do yeah like yes but we do charge some so to be put you everyone will be put on the app but right. to be promoted and to be pushed out and for us to go and cover yourself and talk about you and just like build the hype and, and put up your ratings. So you do have like a marketing kind yeah, of Yeah, we do structure. have like a few different options where right. one option is just pro- posting the sale, one option is promoting the sale, one option is holding your hand through it and telling you what's the pros and cons of, of the business and what works and what doesn't work and the what what's to your benefit to use. Right. And then there's the option of us hosting. You know, it it's fascinating because I'm thinking like you don't really have a lot of overhead, right? It's not like right. it's a ton of overhead at this point, but you do have six people working with the company. Yes. So, I mean, I'm just and just in, just in terms of like just thinking about like, you know, are you guys looking for like funding at some point to try so to like really branch maybe, out? Yeah, I guess it depends like everything in the in the right time with the right person for of like course. the right right because we have had offers that we just declined because it, the, it just didn't click it just wasn't it the right sense. it wasn't the right match right right and like people wanted to just either invest or join in and you need to do things with the right cup of tea like okay so if you had to like i guess just like think about what you are um like what you're really good at what i'm really good at yeah what are you good no. at at Hoover? <laughs> well, I can tell you. Can I tell you what I think yeah, you're really good at? I mean, sure. we just met like ten, how many minutes ago, but <laughs> you're so engaging. Me? And you're me. so much fun. <laughs> and you're so disarming. Like literally, you come in and you're like, hey, no, I'm super cool. No, I don't need anything. Oh, you have coffee? Cool. I'll take coffee. <laughs> like, <laughs> but super disarming, super personable, like easy. Thank you. And that feels like it's nice and warm and cuddly. <laughs> so, but what do you think you're good at? Because I always do this kind of Me? stuff. Me? So I feel like I might be good at just, I don't know, finding that for me. When I get to find a good deal, yeah, my day is like, <laughs> just like <laughs> I'm like I brag about it. Like you right. know, people like are embarrassed to say they got something for like ten bucks. I'm like, guys, I got this for ten bucks. <laughs> no, so you know it's so funny because I, I just like to, to be relatable and real. That's, no, I I, really I think it. that that is, and it comes across. It comes across. I think that mm-hmm. everyone loves a great deal, right. um, and that's what makes this the app so good. I have a girlfriend who literally I would buy something full price. And like two months later, she's like, look what I got. And it'll be like the same piece. No. And it was like discounted. Are you sure it. she's your friend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And you're like, oh, that like, that's painful. I but know. like, it's, it's painful. It's painful when you realize you paid full price and you can't do anything about it. Um, but no, this app is so good. Um, and you. I wish you guys like all the success in the world. I guess if any, if you had to get, I mean, you're, you're super young and you kind of went for it. And clearly you didn't feel like you don't, you don't, I don't hear any sense of fear in you. No. <laughs> no. It's just, you have to do what you love to feel happy, calm and confident. Right. Like that's the only way you're going to succeed. Right. If you do what you hate, you're not motivated. And if you're not motivated, you can't succeed. Right. And so do you think that your parents, are, like your upbringing gave you the freedom to feel like you could do whatever you wanted to do? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. For sure. Right. Because I think that like a lot of times I speak to people um, and they're just fearful for a number of different reasons. I mean, the, the hardest thing is when you kind of like have to make a living. Right. Of course. And so you do that. And then you have this passion over here. But the passion is like may not pay right and you don't really have the flexibility to do it so you know all the advice that you get is like do a little bit towards the passion like at least weekly so that eventually you can just jump um but what i love about you is that you're just like no fear it's like i wanted to do this i love shopping i love getting a deal and Mm -hmm. i I have i now i'm a co-founder of a of a sample sale and like get a deal like you know (laughs) and and then you're helping us get deals yeah no i mean i wouldn't say no fear but like i feel like we've we've gone to a point in the app and in the instagram world where we we've found our comfort yeah and we're able to just 
it's able to run itself. And like, yeah. I mean, with a lot of work, but we know what we need and like we know how to get it. Okay. And do you take like, I guess, um, any kind of comments from your followers for like how to make the app better? Like, is there a uh, way to the like time. all, all the, time. the time? Okay, awesome. I know we're not on Samsung yet. We're working on it. Right. But, take time. Um, all the time. We are, that is one of the reasons that brands choose to advertise with us and brands choose to proceed with us is because our, and our users are very interactive with us. Like they will ask anything and we will answer everything that we can. Right. Um, but I'm so sorry. any advice for young entrepreneurs, like little, hey, young world, any advice? Um, <laughs> I would say a quote that someone else told me yesterday this is not my words. All right. Thank you, Charlene. <laughs> hey, Charlene. Shout she to Charlene. <laughs> so she said um, that someone bought her something that said, if you want to succeed, you will spend five years of your life working. Okay, I might not be. It's fine. We're that. paraphrasing. <laughs> um, but work, you'll spend five years of your life working towards what, working towards something and not have what other people have in order to live the rest of your life for something that other people will never have. Right. I love that. Did that make sense out loud? I think it did. <laughs> okay. But if not, then we'll put it in our, we'll, we'll, we'll find the we'll right find quote, the quote of that. and we'll put but it the in the blurb. But the concept of it. Right. <laughs> the <laughs> concept get it right. Of, exactly. Yeah. The no, concept right. of it is you Investing really just got to slum it yeah. to succeed. And, and there is no pain, no gain. That's what my mom always says. No pain, no gain. So. Shout to mom. <laughs> <laughs> she did a great job. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, we can keep going, but everyone. So, um, again, the, the IG handle is shop drop app. Okay. And you have to follow the stories yes, because that gives the you the, the sample sale in real time. Like what's going on, what they have pictures of the items. Yes. We go to almost every single sale. And if we can't go, we've got someone who could go. Yeah, for you could us. hire yeah. ta- somebody to go do for you and yes, go do yes. it for you. All right, perfect. So, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun. I don't know about I you guys. I had so much fun. I, 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 I'm like, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I don't even care. But <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks for tuning in, guys, for another episode of Unexpected Success with me, your host Joy. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, iHeart, YouTube, and Podbean. Hit subscribe and leave a review once you've listened. Until then, a Hoover keep. Keep winning. Thank keep you. flying and keep this bubbly, <laughs> happy personality. Thank you. All right. All right, guys. This podcast was brought to you by 23DB Productions, ID Productions, and One of One Productions. For more information, go to Facebook and Instagram, Unexpected Success with Joy.